Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. Hello everybody. Today's quick tip is about pre-diagnostic alignments. First of all, I'm sure that if my friend Danny from the DEG was here, he would tell us that pre-diagnostic alignments are absolutely a not included operation. But the purpose of our quick tip today is we have our good friend Bud Center here from ICAR to talk about what are the, some of the benefits and reasons why we might need to perform a pre-diagnostic alignment. So Bud, thanks for joining us. And man, just share with me your thoughts and insights on pre-diagnostic alignments. It's a lot to be said around pre-diagnostic alignments. Um, I would say that, you know, first and foremost, always follow the vehicle maker procedures. In a lot of cases, they will tell you when that's required. They'll give us guidelines. They'll give you guidelines. But in other cases now, it's not always easy to find, right? Yes. Sometimes you have to really understand how to follow the breadcrumb trail through the procedures okay. to find it, whether or not you need to do it. But, you know, when you think about pre-diagnostic alignments, the natural thought, I think, for most people is to go right into safety systems like ADAS. Mm -hmm and some of the things there, but they don't think about the way that your steering angle sensor will tie to systems like your anti-lock brakes and your vehicle stability control and some of those things. So there's, it's not just an ADAS repair when you need to consider, do I need to do this type of alignment? You know, obviously when you get to the, to the ADAS side of the house and you have things like, you know, lane keep assist and, you know, things like that, those systems rely on not only the steering angle sensor input, but vehicle thrust line. Yeah. So understanding that your your alignment is right, the steering angle sensor is giving the system the proper feedback is critical. Great. And are there any resources and great insights, Bud? Thanks for sharing. Are there any resources available on ICAR's website that if a shop wanted to get more educated about some of these reasons or benefits that we need to do a pre-diagnostic alignment, any resources that ICAR makes available? I don't think we have a, a, anything on the website that specifically talks about just pre-diagnostic uh, steering, mm -hmm. uh, or I'm sorry, alignments. Um, we do address that in the courses where the, the steering alignment could play yeah. into it. We do address that. There is also a section in the ICAR RTS website that is for ADAS. And you can go into that section and, and click on the ADAS uh, resources button and go right. in and, and select the vehicle year, make, and model. And it will tell you what systems the vehicle could potentially be equipped with, um, which systems require calibration, what type of calibration, you know, all of those type of things. So there, there are some good resources on that set, uh, RTS site. Great. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. If you need to perform a pre-diagnostic alignment, remember it's not included. If you're unsure of that or you need proof, just submit an inquiry to the degweb.org website. And again, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the own repair procedures in most cases, if not all, will dictate to you when that is required or when it might need to be done in order to complete an accurate repair plan. And don't forget to check out the great resources on iCar's website, which is www.i-car.com. Bud, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. Make it a great day.